Good morning, class. Good afternoon to some of you. Here's an exit ticket. Some of you, mods five and seven, did it last week, and mod two just did it yesterday. So we're going to go over it today. All right. First thing we do, what do we look at? Let's look at like terms. Let's see if there's anything in here we can combine to make things smaller, make them make things simpler. Six x, three x squared, four y, and three. Does anyone see anything where the variables are the same that we can combine to add or subtract them? I don't. 6x, you can't add that to 3x squared. The variables are different. 4y, the variable's different. And our constant of 3. So let's go ahead and use the distributed property here. We have negative 5. We're going to do, we're going to distribute this negative 5 times this, times this, times this, and times that. We're going to have negative 5 times positive 6x. We're going to have negative 5 times positive 3x squared. We're going to have negative 5 times negative 4y. We can also go like this, plus negative 4y. It'll just make it easier. So we'll have addition down here, and we can always convert later. But let's keep it at this. Let's keep it at negative 5 times negative 4y, negative 5 times 3, OK? Negative 5 times positive 6, what would that be? Negative times a positive is always a negative. So we've got negative 30x plus negative 5 times 3x squared. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Another positive times a negative. Negative times positive. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15x squared. By negative 5 times 3x squared is negative 15x squared. Negative 5 times negative 4y. Negative times a negative is a positive. So let's go like this. 4 times 5, 20. And then let's go negative 5 times 3. OK? Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Does everyone follow me? Negative 5 times 6, negative 30x. Negative 5 times 3x squared is negative 15x squared. Negative 5 times negative 4 is positive 20y. Keep the variables. All you're doing is multiplying negative 5 times each coefficient and the constant. OK, the coefficient. 6 is a coefficient. 3 is a coefficient. y is a variable. x squared is a variable. Or x is a variable. OK? So now we're down to this. We have negative 30x plus, 50, minus, plus a negative 15x squared plus 20y minus 15. We can go like this, just to make it a little easier. If we're adding a negative number, it's the same as subtracting a number. So let's just go like this. Negative 30x minus 15x squared plus 20y minus 15. There's your answer. I hope you followed along and made corrections because we're going to go over the corrections in class, okay, to find out why you didn't get from here to here, okay? We'll go over that, all right? That ends the lesson for today. The exit ticket is over with, and I will talk to you later.